Hey everyone, happy Friday. So over the last few months, um, I've been suffering really bad from like heartburn, acid reflux. It's something that I used to suffer from probably almost 10 years ago. Um, I took medication back then for it for quite a while and it helped and I went so many years um, without having any issues. And then probably within the last year, it started coming back, uh, but wasn't too bad. And then about a month before we left for our trip to Cuba, uh, it was the worst I've ever had it. Um, I don't necessarily get that um, like acid reflux up the esophagus and I don't get really the burning in the chest. For me, it's more of like, a really tight pain when I would eat um, and when it was getting really bad uh, last month I could barely swallow um, it felt like the food was getting stuck in my throat so I tried different things uh, for the last year I've been using Zantac 150 twice a day and that was helping and then all of a sudden stopped. So I did 14 days of Olex, which didn't work. Um, I saw a doctor at a walk-in clinic and I did a month of Nexium, which helped a little bit, uh, but didn't resolve the problem. And it was a little odd to me that all of a sudden, um, this acid heartburn, all these symptoms were coming back from years ago, when really now in my life, my eating is a lot better than it was back then. Um, so I am having an endoscope next week done. Uh, so I'll be curious to see what that comes back with because they think I might have an ulcer. Now with that said, uh, what does that relate uh, to MS? So part of me was believing that it could be from myobagio. My family doctor has said it, that some of these immune suppressant drugs can cause you to have stomach issues. Um, that would make sense to me, you know, a year after being on Obagio, I start seeing these symptoms. So I reached out to the group that I'm in that is for people who take Obagio. And I asked if anybody noticed that when they started taking it, they were getting the same type of symptoms and issues. So a lot of people actually messaged me back and did acknowledge and say that when they started Obagio, they did see heartburn, acid reflux symptoms coming up. Um, and even for people that didn't have it before, they did notice that it was starting to come after they'd been on Obagio. With that said, um, most people saw it in the very beginning of taking the drug and then and from there took different things they said such as Zantac um, a couple other over-the-counter medications and it really helped so one thing I'm really curious to know is um, is this drug Obagio causing people to have heartburn acid reflux due to the effect that it could have on your stomach if you read any of the um, side effects that Obagio has it doesn't list that as one uh, but when there's so many people saying that they're developing this same symptom symptom after taking a medication, that leads me to believe that it could in fact be Obagio that is causing um, my heartburn, my acid, and this really tight chest pain um, to constantly come up, especially later on in the day once I've had so many meals. So I'll definitely keep everybody posted on what happens with my endoscope. I really just wanted to share this video um, in case anybody else is taking Obagio and is finding that they are having these same symptoms it's really good to know how many other people are suffering from this um, because it might be something that eventually should be uh, brought to the attention of Genzyme who does make Obagio so thank you for watching have a great weekend and week and I will see everybody next Friday